most travelers and drivers who make a trip to Akosombo or parts of the Volta region decide to make a quick stop at the median town at Impoko to sometimes stretch their legs and grab some snacks. And most of these snacks and meals ranging from the popular bolo anchovies, known in the local parlance as One One Thousand and Akpono, are prepared by residents of the town and nearby communities. If you've ever patronized these meals either on your way to Akusumbo or to the Volta region, then the plight of the residents should be a bother to you, and here's why. A visit to the town revealed that residents of Atimpuku, the district capital of Isujamai for the past year, do not have a public place of convenience to call their own. In August last year, the toilet facilities in the area were pulled down to make way for an ultra-modding facility to be built by an NGO, Ghana First. But more than a year after this promise was made, the story hasn't changed. Residents now have to resort to paying one city or sometimes a little less to use the lavatory and in other cases, some simply choose to defecate in black polythene bags which eventually end up in the river. This river serves as a source of water for community members. This means they drink from it, wash, bath with it, and also cook with it. Residents say most of the polythene bags you see heading towards the river contain human excreta. Chief of Atimpoku, Nana Kwekubudu Akomia the fifth recounts how he has on many occasions seen black polythene bags containing human excreta at his backyard. Uh, Assemblyman for the area, Nana Yawan Pimdako Jr. tells City News they feel neglected. He says numerous calls to the company in charge of building the facilities have proved futile. Um, last year, there was, there was an NGO called uh, Ghana First came in with a package and through the, one of the German institutions with, and they signed an agreement with the uh, Ministry of Local Government that all the assemblies that want a befitting toilet should contact them. So most of the assemblies have agreements with them that they are, they are constructing about 30 seated um, water closet with washroom and uh, laundry facility. So in the Sujamai, this is the first one that they started, which, which um, was supposed to be started around March last year. But because of the situation in town, because these are the public toilets and there's one private one at the down the boat by the same Sadufe. So they started this place to be used for the, for the construction of the toilet. So we are not happy because we are looking that they should have to look at a different place so that we should be running this one until it is completed before they pull it down. But all looking around, there's no land. There's no land because if you look at the, the kind of settlement we have, though this, this is a capital, but we, don't, we do not adhere to the planning of the, of, the, of the assembly. So we have challenges. So the best is to pull this one down. So we are in touch 
to um, July when they officially agree that they have to pull it down to start construction because it is also affecting them. For the agreement, you have to board up to 60% and the, the, the Fed Ghana first will pay you that stage and you continue until the final. But as they started, they were, it was not being filled. It was a new contractor that came to put the light rights into it. But they were demanding money. And they, so it's not in line with the agreement. I don't know, I can't take you to certain places. You see a whole lot of, every black politician bag that you see, about 80% tells you that there's something wrong. So it's a challenge. So our, we are even afraid that, you know, we have a lake around. So maybe there'll be outbreak of typhoid and cholera. That is what we are praying for. But we are also putting our best, educating them, though we have some private ones around. But what we are also doing is encourage private individuals. You can see up there nice size buildings, but I'm telling you, most of the buildings that you go to, they don't have toilets.